Hi everyone, thanks for joining me for another video today. It's day four here in Hua Hin. I'm here for five days, so I've just got one day left. I extended for two days, and I just can't believe how incredibly quickly the time's gone. Uh, but it's a nice place to be. Not too hot today, a little bit of a breeze. So what am I gonna film today? I thought what I'd do today, I, I, I've already filmed this area, Soy 94, went round on the motorcycle, hopefully you've seen that video, uh, and I took you to all the bar areas in the daytime. Somebody made the comment on the last video and said, why do you film the bar areas uh, in the day instead of the night. Well, it, it's it's obvious really, you can't go around sticking a camera in people's faces. The bars are full of girls at night time and they, they just don't like it. Some people do it, I don't do it. The reason I film it in the daytime is just so you can find the location, okay? Um, so what I'm gonna do today, I thought, I've only got one more day left and I haven't filmed the beaches. Now, I was here three years ago when I originally started my YouTube channel and I did film the beaches then, but it wasn't that great. I was, it was quite amateurish, a uh, little bit more experienced now after three years. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to strap the GoPro camera on. I'm here in 94 at the hotel uh, and I'm going to film the journey to Soy 60, which leads to the public beaches. Now, obviously, if you've got quite a bit of money and you stay in four or five so hotels, a lot of them have their own uh, private area of beach they're much nicer but I'm gonna take you to the public area of the beach where they, uh, you, can, you can rent a deck chair they, they have horses on the beach all that sort of thing you can see what's going on and um, if you're one of those people who don't really like the motorcycle ride part of the video then you can fast forward that some people like it because they like to see directions they like to look what's around on the way so uh, I will film the journey going there and then once I get off the motorcycle then I'll, I'll connect with you again and tell you where I am and, and what I'm doing okay so Okay, so here we are. I'm now walking down to the public beach. Of course, you don't want to see my ugly face, so I'll turn the camera around using my gimbal. <coughs> walking down here, it's quite busy. Uh, what are we today? Thursday. So you can see over there, there's, there's quite a lot of uh, rocks in the sea there, which doesn't make it ideal for swimming.
So this is actually the public beach. Anybody can come down here and uh, hang out. And I don't know if the camera will pick it up, but the buildings right uh, in the distance, not the first lot of tall buildings, but right in the very distance, I believe that is Chat Arm or very close to Chat Arm. Oh, there we go. Beautiful day, not too hot as it's high season. And there's the deck chairs and umbrellas that you can rent. I don't know what they charge for them these days. Uh, there isn't really a lot more to show you down here. What I'll do now, um, up it, back down the highway, opposite Soy 94, kind of like on the other side of the highway, so it's quite difficult to get from 94, unless you have a motorbike and you do a U-turn. There's actually another part of the beach that you can access, which is much more quieter than here, which I like. It's nice to go and watch a sunset or something like that. Um, the only problem is they don't have any public loos, any toilets. Uh, there's no sort of facilities. It's just a, a, a stretch of beach. But I'll drive down there and I'll show you how to access it. Um, because it is worth a look. If you rent a motorcycle and you're here and you want to go and have a look, it is worth going to have a look at it because there's, there's no tourists there or very little. I'll have to um, try and get in shape a little bit. I'm out of breath just walking up from the beach. Terrible really, isn't it? That's 94 right, uh, right in front of me there on the other side of this dual carriageway. So I'm going to turn the camera around and I'm going to show you just down here, there's a quiet kind of alleyway and that takes you down to the beach. So I'll head on down there and I'll show you what's down there. It looks like there's a few people here today uh, by the looks of it. Okay, so as you can see, it's uh, a much nicer part of the beach. I haven't actually ever seen this many people down here. Um, but then again, I was here in low season the last time I was here pre-COVID. Uh, obviously, it's high season now. It's just a nicer beach, but as I say, I'm not aware of any public facilities, any toilets or anything. Uh, but you could always, I suppose you could pop into one of these nearby hotels. Um, and I don't know if you can see there, but there are people swimming out there. So I guess there's not too many rocks out there like there was in the other part of the beach. So it's quite a nice day. Okay, if you've never been to Wahin and you were wondering about it, it is, it's worth a visit. Come down for four or five days, uh, see what you think of it. It's not a tire or patio, as some people call it. Like I said, it's not for everybody, but there's enough here to do. There's plenty of bars, restaurants, malls, uh, some good stretches of beach like this one. And there's Chat Arm is about 20 kilometers away. That's a really nice beach, okay? So thanks for watching the video and I'll catch up with you all real, real soon.